Get out if you can about the Pythagorean Theorem. Does anyone know what it is? Oh, pick me, pick me. Pick me! Let's see. Oh, um, Pythagorean Theorem is that if we know the length of two sides, it will help us find the length of the missing side. Very good. Now let me show you an example. Boy, we don't care. Just be quiet. Sort. Yeah, let's just be quiet. Okay. You want to figure out the value of the hypotenuse, which is the longest side of a right triangle opposite from the right angle. You have to add both of the legs together. But if you want to figure out a leg, you have to subtract the leg from the hypotenuse. The formula for a hypotenuse is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. I'm going to write a problem on the board, and I want Ashley to solve it. Yeah. Blah, 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 I quit. I don't get that. I don't know why I'm doing it. What do you find it? I'm just now. Ten years later. A dropout. So far, she has accomplished nothing since that life-changing decision when she dropped out of high school. She is now 26 years old and lives in a box on the streets without family to help her through what she is going through and no brain to help herself. She finally figured out without math she is the Man, can't change! Please have nothing! 30 Please! Please, I'm coming! I'm so hungry! I'm hungry! Mail! 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 You want help? She is fresh out of high school. She graduated with no honors and got no college acceptances. She could care less about college since her family is rich, and lucky for her, she inherited every single dime. How will Amber manage this money with her lack of math skills? Our story continues with Amber. She is now down to her last credit card. She does not know it's dealing with money, so what's she going to do with it? Is she going to save it or spend it? A few moments later... You should be out having fun like me. So here, I can very good for something super rich. Take all of those. Cash or credit? What's cash? I'm guessing credit then. I'm sorry to say, but your credit has been declined. <laughs> what? Wait, wait, look. Um, here, I have more. <gasps> Wait, what do you mean? I don't have any more money? Did you know how much money was in the card in the first place? No. Counting your money is very important. You need the basic math skills like addition and subtraction. If you don't know how much money you have, you can easily lose some and not even realize it. An easier way to remember the steps you need to follow, simplify an expression like PEMDAS, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Nobody cares about your stinking Aunt Sally. We're talking about my money here. Focus! No, PEMDAS is order of operation. It tells you the order that you have to use this problem. You solve a problem correctly. P is parentheses, E is for exponents, M and D are multiplication and division, and A and S stand for addition and subtraction. Wait, are you ripping me off? I can't believe you. I'm texting my lawyer. A, A few, few minutes, minutes later. later. Yes, Amber, you texted. This chick is trying to rip me off. Let me check. I'm sorry to tell you, but you're broke. This young lady here is not lying. You should remember to check your bank account so this would not happen. It actually says here that you owe us money. You spent $250 more.
than you should be spending on your limit. You're in debt. So wait, you're not only telling me that I'm broke, but now I owe money? Yes, $250. This should be here by Monday. Goodbye. Don't. What? A few weeks after I went broke, I got kicked out of my house because I was not able to pay the rent. Amanda got lucky and found a winning lottery ticket. Amber, you owe me $250,000. Know what? This box will pay for half of it. Integers are a set of whole numbers that can be positive, negative, or zero. Whoa! We are so, so sorry. sorry. Maybe it probably will not happen again. Yeah. So keep these two. Okay, but remember, if this is cool, not lunch. But okay, remember kids, math is important. We love you, Miss. Oh, oh, we love you, Miss.